video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use type with perspective. Now first thing to do, just go and put some type here, that's the key thing, I'm going to use that type and I'm just going to go to view and new guide layout, two and two, so I can get that center point, these are guidelines, you can see that center point for the document, click OK. Now create a new layer, layer, new layer, click OK. Now I want that layer to be behind so I've just moved that at that point and then go down to the layer set that to black so you can actually see the lines helps and then go to the center point there you see that center point I created and then drag these lines out because sort of perspective from that central point and create quite a few lines coming out from that center don't have to create vast numbers you can create as many or as few as you want so and I'm just going to create a few over there as well. So, okay. Right. Now, once I've done that, I can then go to back to the type, which is on the top layer, and layer. And the command I want is edit and transform. Don't want it in the layer. That's not much use. Edit and transform and go to, okay. Oh, great. Perspective's not available. There is a solution, of course, and that's go to type and convert to shape. Right, so once that's actually been converted to shape, you can actually drag that down, and I'm just gonna drag that across a little bit. Now I can go to edit and transform, and perspective is available. Excellent, so perspective available. And unfortunately, one thing with this, it actually makes a lot of extra points. You can see a lot of points there. Makes it a bit hard to see things. So, and you can just zoom that down and, and then you'll see, I'm just using those lines as a, as a guide. Because one thing that unfortunately with guidelines is that the guidelines are only, are not very helpful in terms of they're just very basic grid. You can move that, of course, out and until you're happy with the actual position. Get based, and you can draw some more lines as well. But anyway, you can see it basically zooming out from that center point. Click OK. Now, there you've got some lovely zooming out text. What if you want to put it in a different position? Well, you can actually do that very quickly via the Edit and Transform. And again, just go down to rotate this time. So just select rotate. And this little center point, you can move it, just move it over here, put it at the center. And then what you can do, you can actually rotate the whole thing. So you can move it around. So if you're happy with, and you say, right, that's a position I like. And you've got the text zooming again down to that center. Now, what if you want maybe more than that? You can do, of course, you can hold the Alt down, hold the Alt key, and just duplicate that text. Now, make sure you have actually duplicated it, because sometimes it just deletes itself again, and that's not so convenient. Put it on top. Now, I'd recommend actually removing that at that point. Come back to it, click, put it back in a sec. But because if you go now to the Edit and transform and rotate, what you can find is that you can find it very hard to actually find that central point. And there it is. It's actually quite hard. So not even though really, no, I just was looking at the complete wrong. But of course you can just do it from that point, just go up and you can find it at the center point. But it is actually with all those points, it would be nice if they changed the color, you know, red or green, but unfortunately there's no option for that in Photoshop. Now Put it again to that center point, and then you can rotate that around. And you can just move it up there and just rotate it further around, and it's still in perspective. So, and then once you've done that, you can bring the other one back. And of course, you can repeat that and just have it zoom all the way around. And you could, of course, create additional text and have those all moving around that center point in Photoshop. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.